Okay, go. Okay, so here's a good example of a bus that was uh, two weeks ago in the same condition as the blue bus we just uh, looked at. This is a 59 Mango bus, and uh, I've disassembled the entire bus, took the whole running gear out of it, transmission, motor, everything. All the doors obviously have been removed. So this is a typical example of the kind of stuff that happens to a lot of these buses. The cab floor, as you can see, is full of holes. Uh, the metal is just completely fallen off of it. Uh, so all the floors have to be replaced. Uh, the nose skin is going to have to be replaced. This particular bus has had some work done on it before. Somebody's already changed the front nose skin before, somewhere in its life. So um, we're going to start cutting away the obviously bad pieces of metal and then the next process would be putting it up on a rotisserie uh, and start the media blasting process to strip all the paint knock down all the you know rust and body work that's been done on it to get it down to bare metal so we can build it up from bare metal back to a solid bus with new parts and all the welding to get it solid again now you said this somebody worked on this uh, uh, bus before. Yeah. I know some some bondo here. Yeah, this bus has had some body work somewhere in its life, like like all of these buses and cars. I mean, let's face it, they're 50 plus years old. You, you can you can rest assured that they've been repaired umpteen times in their lifetime. Some have been repaired pretty well, and some not so well. So as you can see here, this particular bus has had the no skin replaced and here's all the weld blobs that somebody did to put on this complete no skin on this bus somewhere you know in the past so we typically have to change these no skins because a lot of time they're rusted they're damaged the headlight buckets are usually rusted through holes in them they make brand new headlight buckets complete no skins so we change, you know, what has to be changed. And what year is this one? This is a 1958. It's called a Mango bus. Um, they made Mango buses, uh, 59, 60, and 61, I believe. Uh, this is not the original paint, but it's the original color, pretty much. It's obviously faded from decades of sun, but it's a, it's a nice original, you know, Mango bus, documented. And it had is that a sliding door or a, <coughs> no uh, all, all uh, gate the, doors? All these uh, pre, uh, 67 and older buses had uh, cargo doors, which oh, are cargo. laying inside, um, and they they open up uh, independently of each other. The buses up into from 49 to 67 had side cargo doors like this, which typically are rusted and beat up and damaged. So. As you can see, the floors are rotted out. They got damage uh, on the edges and all around inside. So we're going to change all the floors um, like we typically do. This this area here is the uh, rear corners. On the other side of this corner is where the battery sits on the passenger side. Um, this is very typical. Moisture gets in these buses, the acid from the battery sits in the battery tray and rots the battery tray and the whole corner, so as you can see, completely through. So they make all of these components so we can change all the corners. Wow, that looks, that looks terrible. If you look inside here, you'll see the battery tray on this particular bus is completely missing. It, uh, the battery tray is uh, literally just disintegrated and fell off. So, you know, a new battery tray obviously has to go in. This, wow. pa this particular bus also has damage up here on the uh, cargo shelf. As you can see, it's all rusted in here. Um, just metal that just has turned into potato chips <laughs> completely rotted through you can break it with your finger it's so thin there's oh, nothing, yeah. nothing you can do about welding that it's got to be cut out and replaced this particular piece you cannot buy a new shelf so this thing is something that would have to be searched and a donor 
uh, section from a, another bus would have to be uh, acquired and, and cut and grafted into this bus. Now, what years would this uh, 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 bus have to use? Or will you, what years can you use for this particular bus? Um, this, this. From what to what? Um, this is the 59. Uh, buses uh, have pretty much the same components up until 62. So, except for barn doors, which were, you know, the first generation buses, 49 to 55 were barn doors. They're a completely different animal. They look kind of the same, but the components and the way they were constructed is very different. Okay, Larry, from, uh, from this, what would what be the next stage? Okay, so, like I said, this is the disassembly, then we would go to the sandblasting stage, and I have a double door panel bus over here that uh, I have partially sandblasted. Okay, let's go check it out. <laughs> 